In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed my salon suite from the before on the left to the after on the right. I'm going to be going through all of the steps I took to transform my space to make it feel bigger, brighter, and fresher. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, holy hit, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this remodel did not happen overnight. It literally took us like a couple of months just between me being booked and busy and traveling, teaching classes, doing my online education, being a mom, running my salon suite, dealing with clients, and also doing the remodel. So this took a couple of months. So what I kind of did first is I did a little bit of a rearrangement on how I configured my salon and I actually also changed my color line and then I started to remodel after that. So I'm going to take you through all of those things and let's get into talking about why I changed my color line. Okay. So I have rearranged a good portion of the salon. So we took the mirror down. I think it looks so much better. I moved my station. My station was over here and I moved it over here. So this is where my station is now and it just makes so much more sense because I stand here when I do hair. So now I don't have to like walk back and forth to the station, it's just right here. So it just makes so much more sense. And what was here was my color cabinet. So now I've moved it to the back from the side. So now I'm gonna go in and organize all of my color. I'm switching from Igor Royale in the Schwarzkopf. I'm switching to Joyco Luma Shine. I got a couple shades and then I just decided I'm gonna go all in. So I went and exchanged at Cosmoprof. They will exchange your color if you've bought it within a certain amount of time. So I went and got the Joyco Luma Shine Youth Lock. This is their gray coverage line. So I'm gonna put this all in the cabinet get it kind of organized. Um, I love Schwarzkopf Blonde Me for lightener, but I did not love the Schwarzkopf Igor Royale color. Um, it just was not good for gray coverage. Even though I was using the gray coverage line, I still feel like it wasn't fully covering gray and it was processing a level too dark. So like everybody's formula came out a level darker and then it wasn't covering all the way. So I just felt like it was just so inconsistent and their numbering system is kind of confusing. Um, they don't have like NN and like with Joyco, they have like NNG, natural, natural gold. So you kind of like know what it is, but with the um, Schwarzkopf, it's like all these confusing numbers like 5-99 and 1-2 and all these things. And then the other thing was is the color 10, which is in the brown tubes. The color 10 I felt like was taking about 20 minutes to process. So it just, I just was like, it was a lot. It was just too much. So with this, Joyco, um, I don't even know if they, I think they do have a 10 minute color, but I'm just gonna do their regular color. And then what I got was, um, where are they? Okay, I got these drops. They're by TCA. You can get them at, they're the Power Tools TCA drops. You can get them at Salon Centric or Cosmoprof, and it is a color accelerator. So basically what this does is a 30 minute processing time, and it has all the instructions. It came in a little box that had instructions as well. A 30 minute processing time processes in 10 minutes. A 45 minute processing time processes in 15 minutes, but you do have to use body heat um, with like putting a cap on to process, which is the same thing as using like the 10 minute processing, it requires body heat. So you just add 10 drops of this into your color and it'll make it a 10 minute color. So I thought this was like a super cool find and I it actually does work. I use this on my aunt who has super resistant gray. We processed for 15 minutes, she's normally a 45 minute, and we use 10 drops of this and she got full coverage so that's super exciting so I've got all my um, boxes of the LumaShine I'm gonna get them 
organized in the cabinet and I've just got a few like already opened tubes left of the joy cut or of the Schwarzkopf so I might just like put that down in the bottom and if I want to use it up I can but um, I'm gonna organize my Joico LumaShine and I am so excited to start using it on my clients I just think it's gonna give so much more consistent results and it's gonna be so much better overall Okay, so let's get into paint colors. I got a few samples from Benjamin Moore and I put them on the wall to see what they would look like in the salon first before I actually chose a color. I was torn between going with a super bright white or making it more of a cream color. I ended up going with the bright white because I just felt like I wanted to do that like white black gold vibe and just really bring some freshness and crispness. Then I had to box up all of my stuff that existed in my salon which I underestimated how much stuff I actually had accumulated over the years. It was very cluttered. Then shout out to my brother Charlie for literally putting so much hard work into my salon. He is the one who did most of the manual labor as far as painting goes and just like lifting stuff and moving things, putting things up on the walls, everything like that was my little brother. This is us taking down the infamous holy hair wallpaper. It was the end of an era. It was time for a fresh start here. I was tired of seeing the same pictures on my Instagram with the same background. It's time to change it up. So after we removed the wallpaper, we ended up having to, uh, get the ladder to get this down. But after we removed the wallpaper, then we got into painting. Um, I did some of the painting. I didn't film the painting portion. We were like really hard at work deep in the trenches. So I didn't film it, but this is gonna be it painted and then some of the stuff up on the walls. I ended up deciding to get rid of this white a styling station I had here. This big bulky dresser looking thing was just kind of dated and time to move out. Also, on this day, I was coloring my roots, so super cute. So yeah, this thing I ended up just getting rid of. So um, we're saying goodbye, we're saying peace out to my old styling station. It gave me lots of good years. I have had this styling station since I opened my first suite seven years ago um, before I moved into this one, but it has been with me for seven years and it's time for a fresh start. So I decided to get the Minerva styling station. I'll link it for you in the description box. I actually really love it. Um, I've been using it now for a few weeks and it actually surprisingly like this white station looks huge and it looks like it has so much room and the Minerva station actually looks smaller but it has so much more room. I literally had two extra drawers which I ended up filling but I had two extra drawers that I could store more things in the drawers and not have to worry about it. So I was really, really surprised at how much more storage space I ended up having with this Minerva styling station. So as you'll see in just a moment when I take it out of the box, it arrived broken. Um, one of the wheels was just completely snapped in half, so it just falls over. <laughs> um, but Minerva was so kind. I called their customer service they were so great about sending me another wheel. I was super bummed this day because it was like the day that I was going to organize my cart and get it ready for my client day the next day. So ended up needing to wait for that wheel, but I kind of rigged it with a little um, roll of tape as a wheel in the meantime i tried to super glue the wheel but that really didn't work out so i just ended up sticking a roll of tape there and um yeah so this is me discovering that the wheel is broken 
I didn't know what was going on, so I ended up like looking in the box to see if I could find the missing wheel, but I thought it would just like pop on, but no, it was like clearly just snapped in half. So disappointing, but like I said, Minerva was so sweet. They sent me a wheel right away, completely free, so I didn't have to worry about that, and it has arrived by now by the time I'm editing this video, and I love the cart. It rolls really smoothly, and it's just really, really beautiful to have in the salon. Okay, are we ready to see the big reveal? I'm gonna take you guys through the entire salon after it's been remodeled, decluttered, and reorganized. So this is gonna be the entrance to my salon suite. I have my client waiting area in the corner here. Right when you walk in, I got this beautiful black mirror. I thought it just looked a lot more chic and a lot more stylish, more trendy and modern. And then I utilized one of my black shelves that I already had to put on the wall here and then I have my client waiting chair the dryer and I switched my beverage area to be over in this corner so I have coffee and tea and wine and clients can just help themselves to that so I got it right here on this little cart I can link this cart in the description box everything is really linked on my Amazon store so I'll try to link everything in the description and so you can go find those things on Amazon and then this is just me being cute at my front new mirror and and I love the way it looks and then I've got my little plant here I potted both of my plants in new pots I got these black pots from home sense actually it's like a home goods type store and then this is me seeing if it looks better with the lights off or on I'm gonna keep them on but with them off you can kind of see the color a little bit truer my um, camera got a little warm when I was filming this so yeah, so let's go through all of my organization here. So coming over to my area back here in the back, I put my hooks back here so I can hang my purse when I come in. I have my beautiful black and brown Minerva cart. I just love this cart. It is so great for organization. It comes with these little dividers that you can organize each drawer to fit all of your needs so everything can be in these drawers. I've got my round brushes. I've got extra brushes down here. Then I've got extra hot tools down in this drawer and in the bottom drawer I keep my men's cutting stuff. I don't do men's cuts anymore but my husband still uses my stuff and I do like my family. So then I have like my styling products up here. Oh yeah, Nana is still here. Do not worry. I moved her, but she is still in the salon. So I've got my Nana up there and then I've got my styling stuff. And then this back corner is just like my corner. So I can come in, I can put my keys, hang up my purse, and I have my little comfy chair back here for when I have any downtime in the salon. This big black cabinet still stays my color cabinet, so you guys remember this from years and years. I may get a new color cabinet down the road, but for right now, I'm just gonna stick with this one. It is full and I need to do a declutter in here. Um, there's a few cabinets I still need to do a little bit of a declutter in, but um, that will happen hopefully within the next couple weeks. Then I have my baskets with my color bowls, my color applicators and then my gloves and my um, brush in there to kind of brush through color. Then I got this beautiful marble um, little like vase bowl thing from Target to hold all of my brushes and my combs and then I have my credit card reader back here. I cricketed this myself um, just on my regular Vagaro credit card reader and then my iPad and then I still kept my mini fridge back here. I wanted to put it in the client corner when you walk in but it just doesn't fit right up there. So for now I'm keeping it right here. If I maybe get a smaller mini fridge down the road I'll keep it over by my client corner but then you have the shampoo bowl my product area retail um, 
I organized all of my retail products. I've been carrying AG. I'm kind of phasing out um, my Olaplex, which may be a whole nother video, but I'm phasing out Olaplex and I'm going to phase in K18, which is, you know, the controversial hair topic of the moment, but I will maybe do a review on why I'm doing that, but leave me a comment if you want me to make a whole video on that. And if you notice, I did end up trimming my large fiddle leaf fig tree, gave her a little haircut so that I could propagate some more trees. So the hair extension aftercare, I have these little cute cards on the side for my clients. And if you take my virtual course, you will get these cards in your kit. They're super cute to display at the salon, kind of like a conversation moment for you and your clients. And then my back shampoo bowl here just looks so much cleaner. I moved that big black cabinet from the side to the back. So I don't know if you remember, it was on the side and now it's in the back. And and then, um, yeah, just giving you a full span of the salon here. And I actually swapped out my styling chair. So this chair is from Minerva. My other one was Minerva, but it just felt like it was old. It was dated. This one's a little more comfy. And this is kind of how big my space is. Everyone always asks me for the square footage. I think it's like 10 by 12 or something like that. It's not very big, but it is larger for a salon suite. And here you can see the side-by-side -side of the before and after and just how much more decluttered and clean my space looks and feels. So then I just took this little gold cart that I already had in the salon, repurposed it to put it back behind the shampoo bowl. It just looks cleaner to kind of have your shampoos hidden and then... Um, like I said, I put my towel cabinet back here up above my sink instead of being on the side. It just looks more streamlined and seamless with this large cabinet, which this is the other cabinet I need to organize and I need to go through. I just haven't had the moment, but I also have this um, mirror back here. I literally put it up with command um, tape strips and I love it because I can check my makeup, reapply my lip gloss, and it's just my little corner, my little kind of safe space back here. And I get to have a whole view of the salon from back here as well. So like I said, right when you walk in around the corner, this is going to be my corner and then the clients have their space. So kind of my goal in this whole reorganization was to make the space make sense and give me my space and give my clients their space. So back here, like I said, this Minerva cart was so cute and so great and I've been loving it so far. I actually got the uh, aluminum inserts for the side so you can put hot tools but I love that they have these cups here so you can just store stuff hairspray product clips whatever you need and the cart rolls so you can roll this with you if you want to or you can just leave it there standing still and then I have my styling products up there to style my clients and um, yeah just kind of leaving everything pretty plain for now not cluttering the space that is my goal declutter and clean and this is me just so proud of myself that we are finally done with the remodel and the update of the salon thank you for watching that's going to be it for this video remember to hit that subscribe button follow me over on instagram and if you're a hairstylist sign up for my email list at holyhair.com that's also where you can find my courses so check those out and i will see you beauties in my next video Let's go, let's be, let's